In this recording, we look at how a heat map is done. Heat map is one of my favorite types of visual tools, and uh, it in Excel it's called conditional formatting. Here I have a data set containing the student's performance in five subjects, and uh, just to have a visual view uh, in terms of student performance, is there any top performer or bottom performer? Um, I would actually use conditional formatting. Uh, color scale, I will choose one of those uh, that I like. So, for example, red ones dictating lower scores and uh, the blue ones indicating high scores. So, it gives me a color scale, in other words, a color map of how they're doing. For example, immediately I see there's one student who is doing not so well in Spanish and has the lowest score, whereas another student here doing a great, outstanding job in project. Also, I can see, well, it seems, it seems like few study, everyone did relatively better than, for example, Spanish. So maybe Spanish is a difficult subject or maybe uh, something needs to be tweaked so that performance needs, needs to be improved. All right, so in order to clear those tools, you can go to clear rules, clear rules from entire sheet. Now, I could do another one, identify top and bottom performers. Let me use command shift right and down, down, okay, and then top, top 10 performers or numbers. So there they are. So they are the uh, top 10 highest scores. Similarly, how about give me the bottom 10%. Of course, here I use the default color. Since I already used the red, maybe I'll use a different color, green. So here the green ones indicating the, the bottom performance. So there are a lot of ways to visually look at the data. Uh, we could use data bar, for example, uh, just to draw the height of that each score. And uh, uh, we could use uh, color scale, which I've shown. We could use icon and you can actually make new rules. So indeed, it is very useful in visualizing uh, a group of data.